Welcome to Tycoon Training. This session will cover how to complete lease file audits. Begin by logging into the Info Tycoon website and selecting your management company. Select Lease File Audit from the left menu, then select Audits. You'll see a list of audits you have access to. You can sort or search this list. Today we're completing the audit for Main Street Apartments. We'll click on it to select it. As I'm just beginning this audit, my summary screen has no information present. It will fill in as I complete the audit. To view the files in the audit, click the Lease Files tab at the top of the page. To audit a file, you can select it from this list or search for it. You can also search based on the lease dates or a leaseholder name. We'll click on Unit 007 to view the audit form. Here we can see all the data that was present on the rent roll, plus blanks for additional data that needs to be entered from the lease file. Click or tab through the fields to enter this information. The field for income requires annual income. If any other frequency was supplied in the file, click the calculator icon to calculate it. Select the frequency, then enter the amount. You'll notice the annual income appears in this window. Click Done to return to the form. Be sure to confirm your management company's policy on adding additional residents in the unit. As we continue through the audit form, we can correct any information that was populated through the rent roll that may not be correct. You'll notice that any changes you make to those fields that were on the rent roll are highlighted. They will be recorded as variances. The audit form was created by your management company and should be completed as thoroughly as possible. Some fields may be required. On the additional charges and concessions, I'll add the frequency. If the charges and concessions are ongoing and apply to every month of the lease, I'll select recurring. If they were up front, I'll select one time. I can also add charges, concessions, and deposits that were missing from the rent roll. Here, I'll add a one-time concession that was present in the file and a pet deposit. If any information was missing from the file or I need to take a break, I can click Save to come back to this file later. Once I add all the information, I can click Save and Next to go to the next file. Returning to the Lease Files view, we can see Unit 007 was completed. The To Do and Completed views are available to help you manage your progress. You'll notice an Actions menu to the right of each file. Clicking this menu allows to reset the file to the original rent roll values, view the variances associated with the file, or copy it to a future lease. Copy to a future lease can be used when there are multiple leases present for a unit. This feature will create a duplicate lease for the unit. You may edit the resident and lease information to reflect a pending renewal or an applicant. Here, we'll update the lease dates to reflect a renewal lease. Check your company's policy on whether you should audit the future lease or only the current lease. An admin can access the settings, edit audit details, and edit the audit form. Let's say this is an older property and we need to add a question to ensure the lead paint addendum was signed. We can do that here, as well as change the order of questions and sections.
For any questions, please contact support at infotycoon.com.